welcome back girls and boys to Luna. In front of us we've got the product that I'm going to use to show you all of the different new features that are part of the SSL 360 environment and how I am using them for mixing in Luna. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how powerful the integration of the 360 software has become now in Luna. What I mean by that is that this new update allows you to control and to program any of the buttons on the UF8 surface to do anything you like. Remember that you can control, traditionally speaking, the way that your B pods over here, your, your buttons over here in, the, in, the, in this area, could control different aspects of the software that you're using in question. For example, you can tell the, this button to do something based on the DAW command, which is basically speaking the internal functions of the, of the software you're using, or to perform a, a series of keystrokes just by the click of a button. More on that later. But now, this new update allows you to use the Send Plugin section, which is this area over here, and also shown here in the software, the automation uh, array of buttons over here, pan shift, these guys over here, and even the way that the encoder would behave depending on which position you turn the encoder to. Very cool. So, since this is a very recent addition to the software, I have just uh, uh, worked on some of those features uh, and developed some workarounds for my own use. Let me show you this. So first I'm going to go back to Luna and I'm going to go straight and select uh, drum bus over here. The first button that I created is this guy. This is basically speaking doing the spill bus function on Luna. A spill bus allows you to only have in front of you the tracks that are being sent to a particular bus. In this case, I already selected my drum bus and if I click over here, now you only got in front of you all of the channels that are part of the drum bus itself. Very useful when uh, you are working at the beginning of mix, uh, 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 just pushing faders upwards and finding the gaining stage, the correct gaining stage on a bus by bus basis. Very useful. And by clicking it once again, you just do it. You come back to the traditional, uh, the full array of tracks that you have at your disposal. And I did it just by, as you can see here, programming this button to perform an actual key stroke, the one that produces the spill bus effect on Luna. Now, I gotta show you this one over here. I turned this bad boy, the channel button, into a drop new marker uh, function. There you go. Now, it created a new uh, marker just by the click of a button. And not only that, uh, you can see that I have already here another set of buttons. And if I click on the red one, I am gonna move uh, forward in time following the different pattern the different markers so I'm going from marker to marker and the same applies going backwards and if you are a Luna user you know that creating a, ch a new marker requires a series of key strokes the first one is enter on your uh, uh, numeric keypad and then pressing enter again but now the re regular enter also known as return how do you do that or how did, uh, did I manage to do those two key strokes in one Press a button, let me show you. SSL 360 allows you to create a series of macros uh, in which you can have a series of different keystrokes and you, you can even time them. And as you can tell over here, I created the first, uh, the first iteration of my series, which is the numpad enter, and then I put a return, a press on the return button on my keyboard, uh, but I put a delay of, two, of, 20, of 10 milliseconds. That's what's making the whole thing happen. Very good. And as you can tell, you can keep adding more and more and more and more. Thus allowing you to create a very complex series of uh, key presses just by pressing on one of the buttons on the surface. Fantastic. If I click over here, now we're, we're going to be taken to the SSL 360 environment, but the mixer itself. And if you remember, this setup works in something that SSL names layers. On my uh, surface, I have layer one to be my main one, which is what controls logic. And logic is my main uh, uh, songwriting production suite, if you want to call it like that. But I usually swap my second layer for my mixing environments, depending on what software I'm using. As you know, I am a huge uh, Mixbus Harrison Mixbus fanboy and user. And also I happen to fall in love with uh, Luna as of late. So I am switching between. But my layer number three, it's always the one that controls 360. And 360, as you can tell, it's a very much a better representation of the entirety of my channel strips, because as you can tell, all of them are now following the color code 
that it's here on my mixer itself. Let me show you. As you can see, all of my channels on my uh, Luna setting or setup are actually color coded. Hey, sorry for interrupting, but if you want to let us know that you like this kind of content, please click on the like button over there. Thank you. Let's continue. But sadly, when I am rocking the Luna layer, none of those colors are present. But if I go to the 360 environment, you got them there, every single one of them. The best part is that now, not only you can control the sense by clicking over here, as you can see, now I'm switching between the different sense. For example, if I click number one, now I would be able to use this encoder to control the amount of information being sent to that particular uh, 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 auxiliary bus. And yes, you can do the flipping, so you can actually control those sense through the use of the faders, but that doesn't stop there. Because now, with the addition of SSL 360 link, which is what I'm about to show you at this very point, now we got control not only over the channel strips and the sense, now you can control by simply inserting a link plugin on any given track, the fader of the track itself on the 360 environment. As you can see over here, I have selected my decomp, which is my uh, parallel compressor auxiliary track that I use to, of course, apply compression, parallel compression to my drum bus. And it's controlled by the UF8 without the need of having actually inserted a necessary channel strip, which was the traditional method. That's extremely useful because now I can use the entirety of the SSL environment without the need of actually having to insert channel strips on uh, parallel mix buses, which won't take advantage of any of the features and are also uh, draining some of the CPU power required to run the mix smoothly. Very, very good. And not only that, if you recall, SSL 360 Link allows you to use the UF UC1 to control any of the parameters of any plugin you like by assigning those parameters to any of the encoders on the, and buttons on the UC1. If you want to see how that works, there is a video somewhere on the screen on which I show you how to do it yourself and how uh, I am applying those concepts to my new environment. Again, this is the first mix that I work on uh, Luna using these new features, so I'm still developing a workflow around it. But so far, it's amazingly great. So there you have it, girls and boys. What do you think about this whole uh, new development? Uh, I usually uh, try to stop you from buying a control surface if you are not ready and that means that you need to first hone your skills around plugins and learning what you're actually doing when mixing before you pull the trigger on any of these bad boys these are not cheap toys but from a production perspective and if i put it in better terms from a money making perspective these guys allows you to work faster and that means that you can deliver a final product sooner which means more work on you so it's important for you if you are going to take this uh, whole uh, thing seriously, but it's on you. Now, listen, boys, uh, before I leave, if you like to support this channel and if you got any question, please let us know in the comment section down below. And also, please like this video because that helps a lot. You don't know how much. And also, if you want to support this channel even further, please uh, follow us on Instagram because that's the best way for you to be in touch with us. And also, you can join us on X because that's where the fun usually takes place. And yes, you can listen to our music on Apple Music or Spotify to push this effort even further. Now, girls and boys, as every single time I meet you, I gotta remind you that you should never, ever, ever let anybody tell you what to dream about. And remember that I'll see you when I see you.